Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Thoth was originally a moon god. The moon not only provides light at night, allowing time to still be measured without the sun, but its phases and prominence gave it a significant importance in astrology and astronomy. The perceived cycles of the moon also organized much of Egyptian society's rituals and events, both civil and religious. Consequently, Thoth gradually became seen as a god of wisdom, magic, and the measurement and regulation of events and time. He was thus said to be the secretary and counselor to the sun god Ra, and with Ma'at, truth and order, stood next to Ra on the nightly voyage across the sky. Thoth became credited by the Egyptians as the inventor of writing hieroglyphs, and was also considered to have been the scribe of the underworld. For this reason, Thoth was universally worshipped by ancient Egyptian scribes. Many scribes had a painting or a picture of Thoth in their office. Likewise, one of the symbols for the scribes was that of the ibis. In art, Thoth was usually depicted with the head of an ibis, possibly because the Egyptians saw the curve of the ibis beak as a symbol of a crescent moon. Sometimes he was depicted as a baboon holding up a crescent moon. During the late period of Egyptian history, a cult of Thoth gained prominence due to its main center, Khmun, Hermopolis Magna, also becoming the capital. Millions of dead ibis were mummified and buried in his honor. Thoth was inserted in many tales as the wise counselor and persuaded, and his association with learning and measurement led him to be connected with Seashat, the earlier deification of wisdom, who was said to be his daughter or variably his wife. Thoth's qualities also led to him being identified by the Greeks with their closest matching god Hermes, with whom Thoth was eventually combined as Hermes Trismegistus, leading to the Greeks naming Thoth's cult center as Hermopolis, meaning City of Hermes. In the Papyrus of Ani, copy of the Egyptian Book of the Dead, the scribe proclaims, I am thy writing palette, O Thoth, and I have brought unto thee thine ink jar. I am not of those who work iniquity in their secret places. Let not evil happen unto me. Chapter 30b, Budge, of the Book of the Dead is, the oldest, is by the oldest tradition said to be the work of Thoth himself.